Welcome to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We are back probably a little sooner than we thought because Disney hasn't really talked about this, but they have updated uh, rooms resort wide. So you may remember several weeks ago, hello everybody, uh, several weeks ago we toured one of the new Little Mermaid rooms, which are specifically in the buildings uh, that used to be occupied by the pirate rooms. Uh, and so that's been going on. Then once that was completed, they quietly moved to the other buildings around the resort and did this weird, uh, what I would describe as a soft goods update, but they're pretty, there are several pretty dramatic and some of them really important changes that have happened to the rooms at Caribbean Beach, which is what we're going to cover here. They haven't talked about this. The photos on the Disney World website are not updated to this style of room yet, um, but they said they are only putting guests in these new rooms now. So you're not getting one of the ones photo uh, that's featured in photos on the website. You're going to get one of these or obviously those little mermaid rooms, which you can watch the tour of already right here on our channel. But let's go ahead. This is a fifth sleeper, the new style, newly refurbished rooms at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort 2023 uh, dated here. And, and some of you might be saying like, wait, this looks familiar. There are a lot of things that are, did stay, that stayed the same. And honestly, I'm happy about it. I, I fa fancy myself a bit of a Disney hotel room uh, historian at this point, I would say I've toured enough of them and stayed in enough in my life. Um, some definite changes. So, so in order to explain some of the changes, a little bit of backstory in Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach is the first resort outside of the Magic Kingdom area. When Walt Disney World opened in the 70s, you had the Contemporary, the Polynesian, and shortly thereafter, Fort Wilderness. And then Michael Eisner and company came in and it was decided they needed more hotels on Disney property. And so they started building the Grand Floridian and they started building Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach opened in 88, uh, celebrating its 35th anniversary right now. So um, it is a little motel -y in style. It was just, you know, Disney had never done a moderate resort before. It was a new thing for them. And back then was actually, this was a value. I'll blow your mind. This was categorized as a value back then. So you see things that you may have seen in motel rooms we've stayed at anywhere in the world. This This frame... Uh, this metal frame around the door and then the windows right there and the old style, I guess you call it an old style AC unit. Um, you know, no central air, it's a wall unit. Um, but what they've done, they've still kept all of that. The weird, don't worry everybody, the weird little, the weird little light from 1988, the weird little switch, it's still there, it's hanging on. Um, but they did paint the frame. Um, a lot of the oranges and browns of the room eliminated. So a lot of painting happened here um so this room is mostly blue now um and then the door frame used to be brown actually if we go real close here if you look on the top of that light switch there's some residue from the old paint actually around the the lock too you can find the remnants of it uh but nonetheless and i believe this switch is going to be our overhead light right here which is nice. As soon as you come in, it's it's literally right there when you reach through the door. Um, so things that have changed, uh, the curtains changed. Um, I think th these were the ones in the mermaid room, I believe. Um, there is a hidden Mickey of bubbles, but uh, tropical flowers and plants and such and Mickey bubble pattern, a little different. Uh, but yeah, these these old AC units continue to live on. Um, but they're in the night, you know, they, they have the wood box on them. They're thematic. I always thought they're cute enough. I'm just so happy that the pineapple table survived. I was very worried about pineapple table. He's still here. Don't worry. Pineapple table. Uh, still available for you. There's a big mirror there. The light, all still the same. These are the same chairs. They've been reupholstered um, with this, this sort of seafoam uh, color on them that maybe matches the room a little better. I don't know that it does, but nonetheless, the biggest change, which is gonna affect some level of enjoyment for guests um, is mostly here, right? The floor, carpet is gone, no more carpet. You have the, the faux wood floor, the wood paneling um, on the ground and new bed frames. So uh, you can finally store your bags underneath the bed comfortably. Um, but you can see what happened here. These are the original headboards from the last room. I shouldn't say original. They don't go back to the opening resort. These are the headboards that were here. Um, and these are the new frames, you want to call that? 
whatever you want to call it. Um, they don't match. They're, they're two different colors of wood. Um, it's, it, I, I don't know. I don't work at the Disney company. I can't tell you why that no one wanted to try for the right color, but it, it didn't happen. Um, there is a place to hang your coats and things over there. These light fixtures still the same. Um, a small little change over here. Um, they changed this panel up here. So now instead of two USB and two standard outlets, you now have uh, two standard outlets, a USB and a USB-C available. Um, so that's the only one. So one USB-C exists in the room. The change they made. Um, they have the modern climate control now too, which I forget if that, I don't think that was here yet last room. But it's, it's there now. These are going to be new mattresses, uh, too, because of the new frame. So um, hopefully more comfortable than before. Uh, you do have a ceiling fan up here. Um, this is a fifth sleeper, so we have this giant unit. That is not new art. That's art that has existed at the resort. Um, the only change I could spot on here, uh, this was reupholstered. Doesn't match anything. It's a color that doesn't exist elsewhere in the room and I think sticks out pretty bad but that's what that's what they did uh, so if we pop this guy open you're still going to find this fifth sleeper bed which as I always tell you guys you know um, if you have a kid or someone small staying with you it's great um, if you're a six foot tall adult like myself probably not the best night's sleep you've ever had but you do get this really cute art of Mickey and Pluto though. That is heavy. There we go. Uh, another big change, the TV. These are the new TVs that you can cast to, so you can, you know, stream your favorite shows, etc. Um, it looks like they, they have not installed, they haven't done the new, the new system with the Disney uh, stuff on demand and all that, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. Is it going to magically boot up? No, because I hear that grainy music already. I actually hear the music and there's no nothing on the screen. The screen didn't. The screen decided not to turn on. Let's try that again. Um, I don't think they've done it yet, but I think eventually you'll have that nice little welcome screen. Yeah, it's not not ready yet. Eventually, I have that nice animated welcome screen that a number of the resorts have uh, gotten thus far. I'm trying to think who all has them, right? Like Coronado, Riviera. Um, I, I just stayed somewhere. I guess Copper Creek Wilderness Lodge, yeah. Um, it, it's a lot of them at this point, which is why I'm struggling. Uh, but up here, you get two standard and two USB outlets. Um, this hasn't changed. They've always had the newer fridge it's really a drink cooler i think is what they or, or yeah drink chiller beverage chiller whatever the term may be we have the cuisinart coffee maker you get your resort blend coffee your mickey Ma yeah they are the mickey cups i don't really see this in the wide angle lens but there there's mickeys on there Ice bucket. Um, these are actual drawers this time around, and so will uh, because on the other side it's the it's the drink chiller. You have drawers under there too. You're gonna need that space if you got that many people staying in here, right? Because it sleeps five. That's why they call it a fifth sleeper. Um, so it's nice to have the room for the bags underneath now. Um, if you're actually gonna put five people in here, I assume that's much needed um, because otherwise you've got the drawers. You got the two big drawers, the three small drawers. And um, the other nice thing, though, is you do have this whole uh, wall. So you have the shelf, you have a lot of hanger space, um, and room to put another bag down there if you'd like. Um, other holdovers. Again, not a wildly different room, but paint, floor, bed frames, USB-C. That accounts for a majority of it. The dual sliding doors here. Um, these do not lock, just so you know just so you're aware. This is still the same vanity, but I, I've always liked that it's a double, that you have the two sinks. 
Uh, it's certainly helpful when you have five people in a room. Oh, these might be, yeah, these are new faucets. No, they do not look the same to me. Uh, it's pretty different. Okay. You see, there's some little things I didn't catch. Um, but there are a lot of little changes like that. Things aren't going to necessarily change your enjoyment of the room or the quality of the room that existed. But yeah, there's a, uh, it's an ironing board with no iron. I'm just, that's my first realization. Yeah, because there's extra bedding. No, the iron's gone. I don't have to ask. Um, yeah, luggage rack, iron, uh, iron and ironing board in theory. Uh, safe. Uh, the bathroom, the full length mirror is on the bathroom door. Uh, the bathroom got a paint job. Now, obviously, there's the tile that already existed. Um, they went white on this side of the bathroom where the toilet is. The shower is identical as it was, which I always like because so many of them went so plain. I like that it's not white. I like that there's a pattern. You know, it's, it's, it's not asking much, but it's something that, that makes it feel like you're not staying in a hospital room, right? Uh, you have your mounted shampoo, body wash, conditioner. Um, but otherwise, this all appears the same. Yeah, that's the same shower head from before. Um, the one change I'm really mad about is the shower curtain. There used to be a big tropical sort of flower uh, shower curtain, and now there's this very generic white shower curtain which I guess goes with the white wall, but it's weird, right? Because it's very hospital room on this side. And then you get in here and you're like, oh, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> South Florida retirement home, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Um, I don't know why, you know, some of these changes I get, I get um, the color change in the room. I think the light blue, uh, you know, it, it works for sure. Um, I think there's no way it can't be an improvement to have more bag space having a USB-C, little things here and there. So um, definitely worth giving you guys an update. If you're going to be staying at Caribbean Beach, you might want to know um, about a few of these things that happen. Maybe you like Caribbean Beach, but you're just, I can't put five people in those rooms and maybe I have to get a, you know, a DVC room instead. Maybe now you don't. Maybe now you can fit your bags and such, but uh, always one of my favorite resorts. I think they did a good enough job. Some things a little nonsensical, but I think the rooms are still uh, very nice and enjoyable for uh, the price you pay for them. Again, um, this is, uh, you know, obviously there are different layouts without the fifth sleeper, but this is, for the most part, what these new rooms in 2023 and beyond are going to look like when you stay at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. A quick amendment at the end. I didn't look underneath because that's never where it is, um, but there, this is, looks to me to be a new hair dryer. Nothing fancy, but but new nonetheless and i found the iron it's brand new it's in this thing now they keep it safe but yeah there is a iron and it was in the room it was down it's hiding down here um but here it is i'm glad little things like this getting replaced and i'm also like i've said this in a million recent room tours i'm glad irons are staying and no more steamers where i think people get burnt way more often mm -hmm.